The teacher took advantage on his students. Little he knows, the karma will strike him back. Today, we will gonna explain the series Girl From Nowhere. Episode 1, The Ugly Truth. Buckle up, spoilers ahead. Here we see Nano taking the lead as she introduced herself as the new transferred student in the front of her classmates. Her new homeroom teacher, Mr. Wynn, then asks if anyone is interested in participating in their yoga video. Both Nano and the other girl eagerly raise their hands to volunteer. Mr. Wynn is still looking for more volunteers for their yoga video. Smiley suggested me, a student known to practice yoga. But she remains silent and doesn't express interest in participating. Despite this, Mr. Wynn assures everyone that it is okay if May doesn't want to join, as they already have two volunteers. He then instructs the two volunteers to meet him in the audiovisual room after the class. Nano informed Ng that the rehearsal had been cancelled. Despite this, Nano secretly attended the rehearsal and found herself alone with Mr. Wynn in the audiovisual room. They proceed to practice for their yoga video together. During the rehearsal, Mr. Wynn's behavior towards Nano becomes increasingly inappropriate and he starts touching her inappropriately. He comments on her appearance, saying that she has a good body and tells her to take a break while getting uncomfortably close to her face. He then attempts to kiss her, but Nano questions him. The situation escalates, and something happens between them, which Mr. Wynn records it. He then asks Nano to meet him at the same time the following day. After class, Mr. Wynn approaches Ng and Nano and cancels the rehearsal. However, he tells Nano to meet him in the audiovisual room at the same time. Ng asks if she should come along. But Mr. Wynn explains that the rehearsal will only be for Nano's part. Once inside in the media room, Mr. Wynn wastes no time in making advance towards Nano and attempt to kiss her. Nano questions if he's not concerned about someone walking in on them. When Mr. Wynn shows Nano the video of their previous encounter, Chief in shock, Mr. Wynn tells Nano that she needs to comply with his demands threatens to release the video if she refuses. Nano reminds Mr. Wynn that he has a family and that their actions were wrong. However, Mr. Wynn is persistent and continues to intimidate Nano into submission. Despite the threat, Nano shakes her head in defiance. After their encounter, Mr. Wynn say bye with Nano. Mr. Wynn goes home and attempts to talk to his wife but she ignores him and hands him his phone. He asks where she found it, but one reveals that Nano gave it to her. Mr. Wing questions if Nano has already left, but one informs him that Nano is upstairs with Val and had been invited to dinner. During the dinner, Nano is seen with a creepy smile, looking around the house. Val invites her to eat more, saying that she looks too thin Nano told them that Mr. Wynn had said that her body looked good. He invited her to participate in the yoga video project for their school. And Vow mentions how Nano helped her with her school assignment. One then requests Nano to tutor Vow whenever she's free since she and Mr. Wynn have been busy lately. Nano agrees. And Vow expressed her happiness at the prospect of having Nano as her tutor. After their dinner, Win steps outside and listens to the recording on his phone, which is of the intimate moment between him and Nano in the audiovisual room. After that, he receives a text message from Nano, which he reads with suspicion. The next day, Win looks for Nano and asks Ng about her and May's whereabouts, but Ng says that they have both been sick that day, cancelled again. Mr. Win then immediately leaves the room and goes to his office where he tries to call Nano and ask her what she is doing. He also asks her why she has sent him the audio recording. Nano tells him that he looks like he loves recording things, so she has sent him one as well. Mr. Wynn made a threat and instructed Nano to meet him once again in the audiovisual room at the usual time. May expressed her concern to Nano about Mr. Wynn, but Nano assured her that there was nothing to worry about 
Val and her boyfriend are spending time alone at her house while her parents are out. Just as they are about to kiss, Nano arrives and suggested that they study somewhere else. They go to Nano's room where she explains that she need to leave to run some errands and borrows Val's phone before leaving. Meanwhile, Mr. Wynn is waiting for Nano in the audiovisual room. When Nano failed to show up, he called her and threatened to release the video if she didn't arrive within 15 minutes. After some time, Nano called Mr. Wynn and claimed that the school gate was already locked. So Mr. Wynn checked. Although he realized that the school gate was still open, he returned to the audiovisual room where Nano was waiting. Mr. Wynn said to Nano, come down here, as Nano said no as she thinks he's too dangerous. And then Mr. Wynn said that she couldn't access the computer as it had required a password. Nano informed Mr. Wynn that she may not be able to access the computer, but she had something to show him. She proceeded to play the video of Val and her boyfriend. Mr. Wynn was outraged and demanded to know what Nano had done to his daughter. Nano insisted that she had not done anything and that Val was happy with what had happened. When Mr. Wynn attempted to call Val, Nano answered the phone because Val's phone was with her. Mr. Wynn then tried to leave the room but found that the door was locked. Nano demanded that he kneel and beg for forgiveness and he complied. She then laughed loudly and told him to give her the password to the computer. After Nano made Mr. Wynn kneel and beg and gave her the password to the computer, Mr. Wynn immediately left to find his daughter. Meanwhile, Nano was still inside the audiovisual room, watching videos on the computer. Val's boyfriend received several notifications, which they both saw. The notifications were videos of Mr. Wynn harassing girls. As Mr. Wynn arrived and immediately hit Val's boyfriend, Val confronted her father and walked out of the room, and Mr. Wynn followed and slapped her. Val ran away and got hit by a car, resulting in her death. In the final scene of the episode, the police obtained incriminating videos and used them as evidence to arrest both the principal and Mr. Wynn. As they are being taken away, Mr. Wynn looks back and calls out Nano's name repeatedly, but she slowly disappears from view. In my opinion, this episode highlights the importance of being mindful of our actions and their consequences. It reminds us that every decision we make we can have a lasting impact on our lives and those around us. We should always consider the bigger picture and be prepared to face the consequences of our choices. Mr. Wynn's misconduct towards his student is a clear example of how our actions can have a negative impact on others. Nano intervened and helped the victims of Mr. Wynn's sexual harassment. While her approach of involving Mr. Wynn's daughter may not have been the best choice, some may argue that every wrongdoing comes with consequences. In the end, Mr. Wynn lost his family due to his actions, which serves as a cautionary tale for all of us. That's all for today. Thank you for watching. Please hit like and subscribe. See you on my next video.